Welcome to the Brick Shit House. We have got a lot to talk about today, and uh, a lot of questions that I'll be answering that you guys probably have towards my channel. Like so many videos before this one, I have to shout out a disclaimer that it has been a while since my last video. I think, uh, if my memory serves correct, my last video was in 2009. So, I mean, that was a long time ago. I don't know exactly how long. You probably need a calculator. And I'm freaking rambling right now. And I had already made a video, but it was 15 minutes long. And I decided to not upload it because... 50, you know what? 15 minutes is, is way too long for you. You know what? 15 minutes... Uh, watching a YouTube video for 15 minutes is like that's like watching about a minute of Jimmy Kimmel do late night stand-up I mean, it's terrible. It's drawn out. No one wants to listen to someone for 15 minutes So we need to move on nice and quick and I can explain what's been going on these last couple of months because it's been a huge cluster bang Don't get me wrong Things have just not been good and I have a valid excuse for why I've been so inactive lately So let's get into it Circa 1966, I think it was j early January, it was right before the first map pack for Advanced Warfare was going to come out. I was pumped, my video does really good with exo zombies. I was like, yeah, we're going to make some exo zombie videos, and we're going to get a lot of views and a lot of subscribers. And, uh, well, we all know what exo zombies is like right now, so I guess that was a little bit of an overestimate there. So, anyways, the map pack was just about to come out. I come home one day and my channel has been terminated. Everything's gone. There's no videos. There's no evidence that I even had a channel for the last five years. Like everything was just gone. I, I kind of felt like uh, Mike Mike Myers after he made that movie Love Guru. Like everything's gone. Nothing matters anymore. No history. No one remembers you. So lo and behold, I'm scratching the surface trying to figure out what the hell I can do to fix this problem. They have an appeal center where you can write in an appeal and and try to get your account unterminated. Okay, well, problem number one, I have no idea why my channel was terminated. Literally, I was not given any explanation throughout the last, this process I've been going through for the last months. I still, to this day, have no idea why I was terminated. Although, the story gets interesting, and we may have a little hint up there, but... As of right now, I just still have no idea why I was terminated. So the first thing that popped in my head was copyright. Now, copyright with YouTube, anyone that makes YouTube videos or anyone familiar with YouTube knows that they're a huge stickler for copyright. You know, you can't use people's songs without permission, blah, 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 blah. And they have a copyright center separate from your appeal center where you can appeal copyright. Now, keep in mind, my channel's terminated, everything's gone, I don't know what's going on. So I start with copyright and I send in a copyright claim. Keep in mind, I don't know what's going on, so I just send them an email and just try to get some information out of them, and about a couple days later, they send an email back. They say, your channel's not been flagged for copyright. You know, you're in good standing. You have nothing against yourself in terms of copyright. So I was like, okay, this is weird, because copyright is a legal issue. And if you are uh, doing stuff wrong with copyright, if you're, if you're doing copyright infringement, YouTube will pretty much just pull your channel just like that because it is legal and they can, you know, get in the meat and potatoes of it, take you to court and sue your ass or whatever. So I was wondering, okay, if it's not copyright, then why was my channel just taken off the air just like that with no warning, no heads up, no strikes, no nothing? All right, so copyright is out of the equation. So it must be in terms of like YouTube's terms of service, you know, maybe I'm breaking some rules, maybe I'm saying some inappropriate things or whatever, which was completely irrational to begin with because I think I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty clean channel. I don't do anything really stupid, but uh, you got to do what you got to do, especially when you don't know what's going on. So I go back to the appeal center, just the normal appeal center, and once again, I'm sending, I send in an email and I try to explain myself in about a thousand characters and say you know what's going on i don't understand blah 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 my channel is amazing it's the greatest youtube channel ever created and uh why am i terminated right now so obviously it was a little more in depth than that but i sent an email in and a day or two later i get an email back and they said you know we've read your appeal and we've decided to keep your account terminated so at this point i'm just like okay this stuff's getting serious here all right years and years of videos and memories I've uploaded 
are gone and things don't look bright in the future. I don't know, I've still got to fix this situation because something's going wrong here. So, I've been denied access to my channel and copyright isn't an issue. Maybe terms of service are still an issue because I still don't know what I've done. I try asking them but they just give you this automatic uh, reply back. So I keep sending in emails for about the next next month. I just send in an email every day and try to portray my story a little better and try to make it so they realize that they've made a mistake because I still don't think I've done anything wrong. So after that month, pretty much no luck. I keep getting the same email back. We've decided to keep your account terminated. And this is where shit kind of gets sucky because at this point I've pretty much just given up um, my channel's gone and the worst part about it was that I have so many videos up over the years of just kind of playing with uh, good pals of mine and you know it's it's just kind of ni it's nice to look back on those videos every video and just kind of see how, how different I was and the good times that I had with friends I mean obviously video games isn't <laughs> all we do I mean but it's just it was like a portfolio of just memories and the worst part was they were, they're all gone I, I couldn't watch them I don't have them on my hard drive because this is like a five-year process I don't have all those videos so that that was the part that hit me the most was just like wow everything that I've uploaded over years and years is, is gone I, there's no memory of it and of course, the channel being gone obviously hurt as well. I mean, I'm definitely not a top YouTuber. I've got like, what, 7,000 subscribers, which I love, and that's a good good amount. I like it, you know? Nothing wrong with that, but everything was gone, and I was just kind of, it was shitty. It was like a well shit type of moment. So I stopped sending in appeals, and I just kind of slowly forget about the whole YouTube thing altogether. April... The day before April Fool's Day, <clears throat> I say, what the hell? And I send in one more email. And I basically send in the exact same email that I've sent numerous times before, saying, trying to, trying to defend myself and try to get my channel back. Next day, which is April Fool's Day nonetheless, I get an email back saying that I, I, they've decided to give me back my channel and unterminate it and in the email so I was like oh that's freaking awesome this is amazing but in the email they they finally gave me a reason as to why my channel was terminated in the first place which I think is complete bullshit and definitely definitely is complete bullshit they said they terminated my account or they shut down my account uh, for suspicious activity by a third party so it sounded like someone was on my account other than me. They terminated it or they shut it down so they couldn't do anything. And then that was it. Now that's, I'm sorry, that, that doesn't add up. That's some serious ass bullshit right there. I don't know who you're trying to fool. My account is not compromised by a third party. It never has been. I got my channel back. I went on, everything was same. Nothing was changed. No passwords, no emails, no nothing. Everything was exactly how it was. How is there suspicious activity on an account that was inactive for the last five months leading up to you terminating me in the first place? I was just, I was mixed emotions. I was like, frick yeah, I got my channel back. I can upload some stupid videos that no one will really watch. But at the same time, it was like, I finally have an excuse for why I was terminated. And I think it's, I think it's literally just an excuse. I don't think that was the real reason. I think they've messed up on why they terminated me and that's them trying to cover their ass but <laughs> everything's still a mystery to me even to this day and I look at the time and we're getting close to 15 minutes so holy crap maybe this topic isn't capable of talking about in under 15 minutes so I get my channel back not all is dandy still there are still some issues I have videos that are currently offline because they've been flagged for inappropriate content now y'all know me, my videos aren't always clean and pristine, but uh, definitely not something with content that should be flagged. I mean, who flags videos in the first place, right? Like, 
Who watches a video and gets so personally offended by it that they have to flag it in hopes that this video is taken down so that no one else can see it ever in the history of humans? I mean, you have to be a pretty pretty big uh, dick to, to do that. I mean, <laughs> unless the video was like just five minutes of just like someone bent over and just just deadpan camera right up the ass just opening and <laughs> closing their ass i mean then there's obviously some circumstances that would apply for that type of behavior but in general usually most i'm gonna say 99.9% .9 of videos are definitely not flaggable and should not be taken down for any appropriate content however mine were and because my channel was terminated i can't appeal those uh inappropriate content uh, flags you should be able to but I think because my channel was terminated um, now that I have it back something's messed in the system and I don't have that ability to appeal them so those videos look like they're going to be offline until further notice um, which sucks this vote 15 10 to 15 of them and some of them are really big videos my biggest video I believe is taken down right now I believe it's the one where I talked about Mob of the Dead 7,000 points on round one which has almost 400,000 views is currently taken down for inappropriate content I mean the only thing inappropriate about that video was me teaching kids um, maybe a little too much about statutory rape because you watch that video and all of a sudden you're a sex offender because you'd be doing too much raping on the zombies course also, I have videos that have about 50,000 views, which are offline right now. My view count actually was 2 million, around 2 million before this whole shenanigans happened. Now it's down to about 1.5 million. So I've lost about 500,000 views worth because those 500,000 views are shared amongst videos that are currently offline. So they don't count, which kind of sucks is that's about 25% of my total views are currently not accounted for because apparently shit's too inappropriate these days so that's a problem we have right now but as it stands my channel is back and things are looking pretty good at this point um i got my channel I, it, yeah I, I said april is when i got my channel back and it's june almost june um i had made a video about a month ago which was long and drawn out and <laughs> i attempted to make another one but we're at 12:38 right now and I realized that that's just not possible. So my videos are back online and everything's good to go except for a few videos which are offline. So that's pretty much it. I mean, if you're still here, great. I want to talk about one more thing and that is just a personal rant about YouTube and what I think happened here in terms of my inappropriate content on some of my videos. So in my midst of this whole situation and panicking and trying to figure out how I can overrule this, I was doing a lot of research and I was watching a lot of videos on other YouTubers where this has happened to them, uh, both being terminated and having videos falsely flagged. YouTube's system is completely fact. I mean, what happens and what I'm pretty confident happened to me because it happened to everyone else, so probably happened to me people can flag your videos for inappropriate con and don't get any ideas all right don't be a wise ass and have my this video taken down in a week all right people can flag videos for i guess inappropriate content youtube sees this and they're like hmm, this video's been flagged for inappropriate content and they go to it and they shut it down they don't even like look at the video they just they side with the flagger they're like hmm yeah this guy seems like a reasonable gentleman uh if he flags a video uh, there's probably good reason for it to be flagged boom shut down and now I have to do the work to get my video back up I have to appeal it and try my hardest to say hey what the hell are you doing some asshole just flagged my video put it back up because there's nothing wrong with it it's sweet it's sexy and it's gonna educate a lot of people and that's it that's that's how easy it is anyone can it's just I just don't get it and maybe not for big channels because YouTube obviously cares about those bigger channels but especially for me in the range that I'm at about my subscriber range like I'm not big at all but I'm also not small and people will see my videos so I'm just in that terrible range where YouTube wants to stop me if I'm uploading inappropriate stuff 
so that no one can see it. And it's just a shitstorm. Like, it's terrible, and it's it's just pisses me right off that uh, uh, that's how YouTube works. And I don't know. I'm rambling right now. That's the meat and potatoes of this. And long story short, I'm back. Account was terminated. Still don't know why I was terminated. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> My throat's a little dry right now. 1524. I think we actually made a longer video than our first one. Moving forward for my channel, I'd love to be more active. Um, it's just, it's hard to say. A lot going on with my life right now. I mean, there's probably about three of you that care anyway, so we don't need to get into it. But I will be making videos. And one thing to take away from this video, and if you're a YouTuber, is that you really should watch out for this. And I don't, I mean, <laughs> you can't even really do anything about it. You can't watch out for it. It just hits you, and you got to deal with some bullshit. So if it does hit you, come back to this video and learn from my experience. And there's a whole array of videos out there where it's similar situations. So if you did get terminated or your videos are being taken down and you have no reason why, then that's probably a good hint that, hey, maybe it was just falsely falsely flagged. And, uh, you know, four months, you know, that's that's pretty quick to get a channel back you know it only took four months I mean you know that's not long at all so anyways thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time